faithfulness is great. Great is thy 
matches in the world.
provided. Great is thy faithfulness.
Good morning to you all. My name is Kofi. You are welcome to Queen of Peace Catholic Church. This is the burial mass of Mrs. Laura Tamaklo Oplu. You are welcome once again. Please be reminded that in here would have our nose marks properly on throughout the celebration of the mass and please if you'd want to visit the washroom it is behind the main chapel so please if you want to ease yourself kindly go closer to the main chapel and find your way to the washroom we would continue with the filing past and then we would have some family members read the tribute to our very dear mother. So we'll be starting the tribute reading with the children. If we have Frederick Kofi Oklu here, Can someone please call the family members in charge of the tribute reading to come closer so that we can commence this part of the celebration? So the order of tribute reading will be by Frederick Kofi Oklu, then we will have John Kwesi Oklu, after which we would have the nieces and nephews, then we would have the siblings giving their tribute to our dear mother. If there's still time, we would have a tribute by Dr. Supana and Mrs. Janet Oklu. So for the very first one, let us have the tribute by Frederick Kofi Oklu to his mother, Frederick. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for coming in today. This is the tribute for me to my mother. I was very heartbroken and fell into pieces when the call came that early morning of November 15, 2021, that you crossed the world. I was deflated, sad, shocked, and also felt my whole world has come to an end. You were my pillar, my best friend, mother, and soulmate. Your kindness is always known to everyone, especially people in Madina, who knew you very well. You have always thought of progression of people, even though you are retired and only get a little pension every month. You still manage to put young people through school and pay their school fees every month. When you get your pension, the first thing you do is to buy biscuits and drinks, which is always passed nicely and give to anyone who comes to visit you. You are one person who will always put others' interests first before your own. And you are not selfish person. You did not bear grudges. The only thing he taught me in life is reminding me to be humble, respectful, exclude kindness, and never to react, but work away from trouble. I will always remember what you've taught me, and I will use it to navigate my life. I am very much going to miss the number of times we had together. When I get home to visit you, you always come to my room, or I'll go to yours, where we talk and talk endlessly. I remember you telling me stories, and we all laugh together. 
most of the time I fall asleep and you not realize that and whilst you're talking we had a very special bond you gave me unconditional love as a mother even though as old as I am you still worried about me I always had to say to you I'm a grown man and I can handle any situation and your answer was no listen to listen my son I thank you so much for being there for being my mother and for the great things you've taught me just a few things like how to cook more importantly to walk away from trouble I call you mother Teresa because of your kindness to have a mother like you is a great honor and I always remember and cherish the good things times we had I will miss you coming back to the first thing coming to I will miss you coming to check on me the first thing in the morning in my room and also telling me to get up and showing me some of the exercises that you do in the morning if I should reincarnate and have the opportunity to choose my mother I will choose you again you are so special I will miss you mom sleep well so we meet again Thank you very much, Frederick. So we have the next tribute by John Kwesi Oklu. Please remember that the filing pass is still going on, so you can still file pass as we listen to the tributes. This will be by John Kwesi Oklu. I had a last dance with my mom in October. On the 14th of September of November, we recited the rosary and the next day I had a call around for 30 that things weren't that good. So I said, give her some water. She drank the water and that was it. She went peacefully. She actually led a good life. She was a very stubborn woman. We argued. But there's always something about my mom that I would forever thank her for. I traveled to Europe because of her pension. She, her little pension that she had. Say no more to my mom, I love you. May you rest in peace. After my bed, I'll be there for you to think and think. Thank you very much, John. May God console you and the entire family. At this point, can you be reminded that the filing pass is still ongoing. We'd want to have a song 
by the choir. After which we would continue with the tribute reading by nieces and nephews. Then we'll have the siblings. Please, there is a box outside for any kind of donation. Kindly send the donations to the box, which is just before the COVID offices. Thank you. The choir. Numbers one seven two one seven two. Hello? Hello? Thank you very much, Edekwa. We we'll now have the tribute from the nieces and nephews. beloved Auntie Laura will always be remembered for her hearty chuckle, sweet smile, her beautiful heart, and her words of wisdom, especially on health matters. We remember our Auntie Laura living in Kakradi with her husband, Uncle Patrick, 
together our cousins Fred and John. They later relocated to Accra and live at Osu, on the top floor of the story building adjacent to Osu Presby Church. Anytime we visited with our parents, Auntie would welcome us heartily and would serve us with various local snacks, load us with some to take home. She later relocated to Medina adjacent the market where she lived for several years until her passing on. Auntie was a medical nursing sister by profession, but she laid great importance on using traditional and garden herbs for healing too. We remember whenever we, whenever we visited her in, her in her later years, she would ask us if we were taking bitter leaf daily. She would explain that the Western lifestyle promoted eating too many sweet things and that we need to balance it out by eating bitter herbs. That made, that made, that made, for, that made her, there's some little error, that made her good health and avoided debilitating illnesses like diabetes and high blood pressure. Auntie practiced what she preached, which explains why she lived to the ripe old age of 94. She also encouraged us to engage in physical exercises every morning to start off the day. And she would personally demonstrate the exercises that she did every morning. We would marvel as we would marvel as we watched her stretch out her limbs in the air and rotate them, even at the age of 90, without losing balance. As the years rolled by, Auntie Laura's sight began to wane. However, despite that she recognized each person quickly, maybe by the sound of your voice or special gifting. She loved to relive her childhood days with her grandmother and would often recount stories already told us. Auntie lived life to the fullest, and during conversations, she would laugh loud and long. Auntie was baptized and brought up in the Catholic faith, and she remained faithful to the Lord by participating in church activities until her latter days, due to her, due to her ailing eyesight. eyesight. It became impracticable to continue tracking the journey from her home to church. Auntie. Kwame and, his Kwame and his dear wife, Surema, are beside themselves about your passing on due to the special bond they shared with you. Your pet name for you was Holy Water. This was due to your cheerful and calm disposition, hence Surema could not help but name you as such. They are very grateful for your life and for time you shared with them, which has now become beautiful memories. Each moment was filled with wisdom, healthy recipes, and laughter. As expected, you always made them and everyone else around you feel good. Your passing on has brought back to them several nostalgic memories, one of which was when your elder sister, Auntie Gas, introduced Surima to you, and you went on to share vividly the birth of Kwame in Takradi in your typical narrative style with all the petty details of childbirth. Betting him and his growing up. It seemed like yesterday. They recount those visits to your home in Medina, filled with long conversations relating to Kwame's childhood life lessons and family stories. You always reminded them to trust in God, take family values seriously, and to take care of themselves. Today, Kwame and Surema say those conversations have impacted them immensely and help Suleiman to adapt to her newfound homeland, Ghana. For this, they say a prayer of gratitude to you and promise to emulate those values you instilled in them by passing it on to their generations to come. Auntie, we live with the hope that we will surely meet again on the resurrection morn as per the words from Revelation 21 verse 4. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. Auntie, rest in God's loving, peaceful arms until we all meet again. Rest in peace, holy water. Auntie, Hadenye, thank you. Hadenye, Auntie, this was by the nieces and nephews. At this point, I would have a tribute read 
by the siblings shall we have any of the siblings to take their tribute. Please, the filing pass is still ongoing. And kindly have your nose marks on properly throughout the celebration of today's mass. After this, we would have a tribute by Dr. Supana Kanungo. Yes. Tribute by siblings. It is difficult to say farewell to our loved ones. However, good legacy the respect of elder sister until her last breath referred to her as Sister Laura. Together, we started life in Asarama in the Volta region, where we lived with our grandmother, Grace Yibodua Hyablem, a very loving lady who was very protective of us and took which we did without questioning. We were each assigned specific responsibilities as our daily chores. Sister Laura was put in charge of the pigs, which meant feeding them each morning. To add humor to this daily activity, Sister named the pigs Piani Bavio. It is interesting to note that the pigs responded to the name and always came for their food when she called out to them. We both attended Keta Roman Catholic School, where she was known as a jovial, full of laughter, and occasionally mischievous person. I recall an incident where she called a young man who came from Togo to school in Ghana language, French, Francais Yehudwagba, literally meaning a disappointed white Frenchman. The young man was offended and reported her to our mother, who apologized profusely to the young man and promised to give him the pleasure of caning Sister Laura the next time she was around. This was in a bid to console him, as the letter never happened. Sister Laura went on to Holy Child College to further her education. She was a senior by the time I entered Holy Child College and enabled me to enjoy the rare protection of senior sister as I did not have to endure the usual bullying by the seniors towards the newcomers. Sister Laura had a kind, calm disposition and this played a deciding factor in her decision to pursue a career in nursing. She therefore went on to enroll as a trainee nurse at the Cape Coast Hospital, after which she pursued her career further to ob obtain the requisite certificate, which enabled her to work in various hospitals in Takrodi and Accra, particularly the Princess Marie Louis Hospital, formerly the Children's Hospital at Arona. My sister met the late Patrick Oku in Kataruman Catholic School, where they became good childhood friends. Their relationship blossomed throughout the years, and when he went on to secretarial school at Dodua, they continued to keep in touch by the perpetual exchange of letters. One of such letters was intercepted by our father, Victor Tamaklu, who decided to respond to the contents of the letter. He sent what was essentially a warning letter saying, stop writing those thoughtless letters to my daughter. Unfortunately, these strong words at his missing did not deter them, did not deter these lovebirds as they continued with their relationship. Some years later, Mr. Francis Chitaboli James Oklu came to see our father to ask for our sister Laura's hand in marriage. Sister Laura was a very health conscious person and this was expressed in her daily diet and fitness, to, and fitness approach to life. She was always keen to share tips on how to keep fit and healthy. She was a good cook and having stayed in Hosu for years, learned to make, make, make ga kenke, a skill which she willingly handed over to me. Together with eating a balanced diet of sweet and bitter foods, she always encouraged me to do daily exercise, and every time I visited her, she would go through her daily routine with me. My sister and her family, having stayed in Takrodi for years, also learned the Fanti language very well, and would deliver a conversation in Fanti, much to the admiration of the Fantis themselves. She was a staunch Catholic and would never miss her mass for anything until health challenges began to take a toll on her, especially her eyesight. Sister, I miss our early morning calls and chats, 
discussions about how we can right the wrongs of this world. You served God and rendered services to mankind all the days of your life. I will continue to pray for you. Novinia, had the new Laniti Fafama, Mauna Nokleo. Mauna Nokleo, this was by sister. We'll continue with the tribute reading. Shall we have the choir to give us another song, please? After the song by the choir, we'll hear a tribute by Dr. Sipana Kanungu and Mrs. Jeanette Oklu. Then the last one will be by George and Kra. The choir. Please be reminded that there is a box outside for donations. Anyone who brought a donation, kindly go closer to the box and drop it there. There are envelopes there, so if you want to put money in the envelopes, that is also available. Thank you.
Thank you very much, the choir. Once again, you are welcome to Queen of Peace Catholic Church and this is the burial celebration, Mass of Mrs. Laura Tamaklo Oklu. Please, those who just joined us, the washroom is behind the main chapel, which is behind me. We still are listening to the tributes by loved ones and the filing pass is still ongoing. Please, there is a box outside for donations. If you brought any donation, kindly send it to the box. While we have Mr. Nick Kuseno seated to take all donations. At this point, we would have a tribute by Dr. Sipana Kanongo. We have Tribute by Dr. Asipana Nango. It was a Friday, October 9, 2015, my first time in Accra, when I met Mrs. Oklu. I had arrived from the United States a week back to work on a stroke project at two hospitals in Kumase. During my return to the United States on that Friday, Mrs. Oklu's son, Kwesi, at the time, a new friend of mine graciously offered to show me around the city of Accra during the tour. I learned that his mother is a retired nurse. And being a professor in nursing school in the, United States of my, in the United States myself, I really wanted to meet and listen to the life of a nurse in Ghana during those early times in the 1940s. Kwesi took me up to his house where I met Mrs. Oklu for the first time. I still remember the day. And I was blown away by her hospitality when she welcomed a stranger, me, with such grace and warmth. We sat down and talked for a couple of hours about her nursing days and the glow in her eyes as she talked through. It reflected the love she had for her profession as a true nurse. I could feel her care and passion. I could feel her, excuse me. I could feel her care and passion for healing her patients. She carried her profession with dignity and pride. Not only was she a great nurse of her time, she was also a great mother and a beautiful human being. Little did I know her, but she was so loving and welcoming that in more than six years, her memory is as fresh in my mind as the day I met her. Within that short period of time that I met Mrs. Oklu, I developed an immense respect for her. She made a lasting impression on me. And today, I celebrate her life. Thank you. Thank you very much. So Dr. Supana Kunongo is an associate Professor in the College of Nursing. She's the Director of Global Health at the college and has also previously served as a director for Telehealth Research Program 
at MUSC Center for Telehealth. That is the Medical University of South Carolina Department of Nursing Operating. Thank you very much. We would have a tribute by in-law, which will be taken by Mrs. Janet Oklu, Mrs. Janet Oklu. If she's not in yet, can we have a tribute by George Ankra? George Ankra will give us a tribute. Then afterwards, we'll have Mrs. Janet Oklu. Tribute to Mama Laura, my family pa, myself. Let me quote from Psalm 62, verse 8 to 9. Trust in God at all times, my people. Tell him all your troubles, for he is our refuge. Human beings are like a puff of breath. Great and small alike are worthless. Put them on the scales, and they weigh nothing. They are lighter than a mere breath, end of quote. Losing a mother is the hardest blow to every child's existence, because a mother's love is always with her children. Mama Laura has been a unique mother, specially gifted to her children, including most of us, who were not her biological children. She was patient, meek, kind, and cared about everybody's well-being. My association with mommy started from the early 80s when my late mother, Esther Foley, who was her bosom friend and a workmate, introduced her to me as one who helped her in my delivery as a nurse. Since then, I took to her, and I often passed by to say hello any time I happened to get to her house close to the Medina market. In your days, Mama Laura, nursing was a calling and a passion, not based on protocol or who you know. So when Mama Laura and my late mom were invited to write promotional examination and interview, and were successful, they were very happy because it was not easy at that time to even get the promotion. Today, I recall a song they sang to celebrate their success. And I do that quickly. Mia de Kana ya go do, Mia de Kana ya go do, Kutri kuku ple vi fa fa me be. Miande kana go do kutri kuku pla vi fa fa me be miande kana go do. This was the vivid song they were singing in happiness for getting promotion to be called sisters. Since then, their name changed to sister sister because they became senior nursing officers where they started wearing the white instead of the green dress. Mama Laura, as we look at your picture, sweet memories we recall. A face full of smiles for everybody you met. We will continue to walk in the path of your good counsel. Your kind heart we will not forget to emulate. Your goodness your care and constant encouragement and wisdom lives on. A legacy of love will always be with you. May that love surround you now and bring you peace. Your presence we miss. Your kind memory we treasure. You will forever be in our hearts. Loving you always. Ma. Ma. Sister Laura, fed you well. 
Amen. Amen. That was by George Ankwa. We have Mrs. Jeanette Oklu here. So, Mass will be starting very soon. Please, all throughout Mass, kindly be reminded that you have to have your nose marks properly on. Again, please put off your phones or you can put them on silent so that it doesn't disturb the mass. Right after the last tribute, we'll have five minutes to foul pass again, after which the casket will be closed for mass to commence. We have Mrs. Janet Oklu giving us the tribute by in law. Tribute by Mrs. Janet Oklu. My heart was pierced with pain. My eyes filled with tears and my entire body trembled with shock on the fateful day of Monday, 15th November, 2021. Your carer beckoned us early that morning, insisting you were not responding well to her call. We came to your room to attend to you. You were indeed quite calm. We first offered you a cup of water, which you drank. I attempted to give you a second cup, but you declined and, alas, went to your maker peacefully. I will treasure the funny banter we often shared. I affectionately called you property, and your response was Fahiti, which is the name of a Chinese neighbor of ours when we lived at Chakradi. You were truly more than a mother-in-law to me over the eight years I lived with you. Your sense of humor was endearing. You went out of your way to help everyone you came in contact with and who, in, who needed your assistance. As a retired senior nurse, you did not hesitate to give medical advice any time I was not well. Your memory was indelible and exceptional as she recalled in detail the experiences of your youthful life. Your accomplishments and good works will stand as a lasting testament to a life well lived. We will speak well of you and your succeeding generations here on earth will treasure the fond memories of the time spent with you. You will forever dwell in our hearts. My heart is heavy as I bid you farewell, but I seek consolation in Revelation 21, verse 4. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things have passed away. I pray that the gates of heaven be opened to you and trust that the good Lord will have you in his keeping. Rest in perfect peace. Antique. Thank you very much. She read on behalf of Mrs. Jeanette Oplu. The choir would give us a song while we prepare ourselves for mass. We would have another chance to fall past again. When mass is about starting, we would close the casket and then we would have mass. So please pay your last respect to 
Mrs. Laura Tamaklu Oklu Dekwa. Please, shall we have those responsible for the covering of the casket very close? Please, let's have them close so that just when Mass is about starting. Be starting very soon. Kindly be reminded that throughout Mass, we will have our nose marks properly on. The ashes will direct us when it is time for offertory and for communion as well. During Mass, communion will be meant for only practicing Catholics who would prepare themselves to receive the body. Please be reminded again that the washroom is behind the main chapel. So if you would want to use it, kindly go close to the main chapel and find your way to the washroom. Also, let us have our phones on silence, or if possible, kindly put it off. Thank you, and do have a blessed celebration. The choir would prepare us as we wait for the celebrant.
eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, on behalf of the parish priest, Father Anthony Didongo, on behalf of his uh, assistant, and on my own behalf, I would like to welcome you to this uh, funeral mass given to our mother, our friend, our grandmother, our sister, Laura Oklu. Pray that the good Lord will accept our soul with him. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask for pardon. And I would like to acknowledge all of you, your presence in your different capacities. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask God for his pardon and uh, forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us all our sins and bring us to life everlasting.
God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Laura, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. Their going looked like a disaster. They are leaving us like inhalation but they are in peace. If they experience punishment as men see it, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their affliction, great will their blessings be. God has put them to the test and proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a holocaust. When the time comes for his visitation, they will shine out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They shall judge nations, rule over peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await those who he has chosen. The word of the Lord.
creation of the world. time Jesus said to his disciples let not your hearts be troubled believe in God believe also in me in my father's house are many rooms if it is it were not so would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you and when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. And you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. The Gospel of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our hope is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our peace is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Today is uh, a particular day where we have gathered for one thing, to partake in the celebration, the last Eucharistic celebration of our dear Mrs. Laura Daisy Tamaglo Oklu, who after here, we'll be going forever. We'll not be seeing her with our naked eyes. It is for that occasion that we are gathered to bid farewell to her. And uh, it makes us to reflect a little bit on the subject, the topic of death. And as we all know, Death seems, or let me say, never seems to come on time. Mrs. Laura is, if I'm not mistaken, 95. Is that so? 95 or 94. Okay, she hasn't reached yet the, the, the 95, but we are in the year 2022. 
So 94. And 94 is not a small number. It's a huge number. But yet, it's as if death has come surprisingly in the life of Mrs. Laura. And it's as if it shouldn't have come now. Death never seemed to come on time. For some, death comes too early. As soon as they are born, they go. And for others, it comes too late. Too late. There are cases of people who are more than 100, 120, and 20, 30, and they are still living. And the way of life is on them. And they, are, they want death to come. And death is not coming. So for others, death seems to delay. Just as a very tired child may still you know, protest about having to go to bed. A child that is very tired and as soon as mommy say go to bed, is yawning, but he will still protest to go to bed. Even though sleep is about to catch up with him or her. So it can be with the elderly people. They see that they are tired. They see that time has come for me to go. But as soon as small sickness comes, mm -mm, I don't want to go there. And this is the mystery of death. Death can be as natural as sleep. And we shouldn't be afraid of it. For the Christians, it is the living that is the dying. For Christians, it is the living that is the dying. Life itself is a whole series of deaths. Different deaths. Dying to my pride. Dying to my possessions. Dying to my ego. Dying to my opinions. Dying to my comfort. Dying to all that takes me away from the other people. And all that for the sake of others. I repeat myself again. For us Christians, it is the living that is the dying. And life itself is a whole of series of deaths. As we live, we are called to die to my pride, to my possessions, to my ego, to my comfort, to my to all those things that I do that separate me from the, uh, the other people. To die of all of them. But for the sake of others. This dying is the greatest love of all. And that Jesus is the one who tells us. 
this kind of dying shows the greatest love of all. Death is like a pile of sand. Death is like a pile of sand at the end of my life. Which I'm asked to take and sprinkle throughout my days. A little bit every day. I sprinkle that death throughout my life. Dear brothers and sisters, Laura has guarded us. And let us see the mystery that is behind a dead body, a dead person gathering us. A dead person is no more there to speak, to say something. But the mystery behind it has brought us all from our different corners to gather here. Maybe for us in our minds is to bid half farewell and then that's all. We are following the protocol. But beyond it, there is a huge message that Laura would like to communicate to each and every one of us here, got it? Starting by her two children, Kofi and Kwesi. You are here. Your mom, Laura, has a final message for you. After this, you will not have another opportunity again to hear her voice, to hear her intentions for you. Mommy Laura says, Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful to be lived. I'm not seeing Kwesi. Where is Kwesi? If Kwesi is in the surrounding, please come in, please. He is coming. Come inside, please. I'm seeing you. He is passed by the, 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 the back and come inside. The back, the back door. The back door, yeah. Kindly come in front and sit on the two chairs that are here. Koku and Kofi and Kwesi. Thank you. This is your position. Mommy has called you to come and sit down here together. This should be your position. Mommy says she loves you. She loves two of you. And mostly she loves you when you are seated together like this. She loves you the more when you are one mind. She loves you the more when she sees you moving together. She loves you the more when she sees you making project together, hand in hand, sitting together, looking each other into your eyes and laughing together as brothers. Mommy Laura loves you as in your, in your differences. Mommy loves you in your capacities. Mommy Laura loves you. And she wants you from today. As you depart from here. And you go to bury her. And you are coming from the, the grave. That whatever 
was there as maybe a blockage, the misunderstanding, all those things that are there. Cancel it. Throw it in the grave with Mommy Laura. She's ready to receive them in the grave there. Put all those misunderstandings with her there. Come from the grave. Refreshed. Renewed. I don't know of your, your, your situation. I don't know of your life. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you. But this is the message of Mommy Laura. Your dear mother that gave birth to you, to you, two of you. Love each other. You don't have any other sisters somewhere. You don't have any other brothers somewhere else. You are only two. It takes time just to say, Kofi, this, 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 and that. It takes time to say, oh, Kosi, oh, Kofi, this one, and this one. That's all. Talk to each other. Well, nicely. Boasting is nothing. All these things will remain here. As you yourself wrote it nicely about your mother, she did great. She was a great lady. She excelled in all the things. She went here. She went there. She did this. She did that. She acquired goods. Good things. But today, where is she? She was talking to you sometimes when you were still baby or young, not at the age of reason. When she will tell you certain things, you will say, oh, she's not hearing us. You will be mad at her. But she was taking position to help you. You are not understanding. But today, where is she? Is she here now to tell you something that you will be not hungry of? Is she going down with the houses that she's having? Is she going with all the possessions that she was having? Is she going with this in the coffee? Where she's lying here? Is she have any penny, money with her? Nothing is with her. This should be a great sign of decision for yourself to change. Yeah, Brian, she said it for us all. Life is simple. Life is not complicated. We do complicate our own lives. And we give ourselves our own problems. And we suffer from our own problems. We, sleep, we spend sleepless nights for nothing. For nothing. We complicate our own situation. For what? Ego. We will be different. We will not have the same ideas. It's true. But then we are called to be one. Brothers with our differences. Sisters with our differences. Beloved in Christ. The Lord is calling us to understand that the most important thing in this life is the love of my brother and my sister. The rest is nothing. Have trust with you. Believe in Christ. Put your hearts, your dreams, your everything in the Lord. After all, when you have battled, you have done the good thing, sit or kneel and say, thank you, Lord, for the great things that you have helped me to achieve. All belong to you. Not to me. The glory is not to me. We sometimes take the glory of God to ourselves. We want to take God's glory as if it's our glory. No! It's not your glory. God has achieved it through you. But you need and you must acknowledge that. But what you have received is from him. Without God, we are nothing. Without him, whatever we have now is zero. You do agree with me that there are people who have just used their own way Build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up, and then one day, project of so many years will collapse. Because God is not behind it. And they will come to zero. So as long as you are still enjoying, be thankful to God, be humble, be simple, be understanding. 
mutual respect. Which problem that we cannot uh, resolve in this world? Which kind of problem that we cannot sit and talk of it and then to find a solution for it? Is it possible to sit down and talk and solve our own misunderstandings? Sometimes it's just a misunderstanding. I think this, the other one has thought the other way. And then we have not sat to clarify our, our ideas, our intentions. And then it becomes, somebody will comment it, another one will comment it different way, and we are angry. Forget about that. Sit down. Talk to each other. Defeat the devil by sitting down and talking to each other. Life is precious. Life, you don't have it forever on this earth. You have a time to live on this earth. And that time is counted. Day after day, you are going towards death. Minute after minute, we are going towards death. That's why I will appeal to you not to postpone the decision that you want to, want to take now. Take it now. The good that you have to do, start now doing the good. The thank you that you are supposed to say, start saying the thank you now. The sorry that you are supposed to say, start saying the sorry now. Don't delay. Because when you delay, you don't know when the master will come and call you to go. Now. Now. It is now. It is now. She will not get up here and tell me, you say, yes, it's true what Father is saying. But it is what she is putting in my heart and in my, on my lips that I am selling you. It is now. Be one. As the Father is one with the Son and the one with the Holy Spirit. Three, but in one. May God bless our hearts. May God bless our minds. May God bless our unity and help us to wipe away the tears from our face and give us comfort to strengthen our faith to understand that death is not the last stop. Death is a change. We change from this life to continue another life somewhere with God. May God bless and support us. Sorry to the family, the Dewey family, May God wipe the tears from your face and give you the courage, the, the spirit to do well, to do good for the glory of God and for the good of human being. Mommy Laura loves you and she assures you that she is with the Father. There's one thing that I, is, comes always in my mind when we are going to give Holy Communion to Mami Laura, she will always talk of how she enjoyed being with the reverend sisters in the convent. We lived with the reverend sisters, and she was proud of repeating that. We lived with the reverend sisters. And for that matter, she will not joke with her rosary. She will be praying with the rosary. Even if she's not praying with it, the rosary will be in her hand always. And she will be telling me, Father, huh, we, we were living with the reverend sisters in the convent. And it means a lot. Maybe she's not having time to break down all that in that sentence, but then she will keep on repeating that we lived with the reverend sisters. And the good that she has received there was reflected in her life. We are encouraged to do good, to live with good people, to take good from the good people and live by it. If you are Christian, live by your Christianity.
If you are not Christian and you are Muslim, live well by your faith. Do good. If you are not Catholic and you are denomination, live your faith well. Don't do half half ways. Be true Christian and portray your Christianity. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. And be good. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As the one body of Christ, dear brothers and sisters, let us be on our feet to address to God our petition. Let us in faith call upon God, the Almighty Father, who raised Christ, his Son, from the dead, as we pray for the salvation of the living and the dead. And after each invocation, our answer will be... the church that the Lord may fill us with divine strength to able us support one moment of sorrow and pain let us pray for all who have served our country Ghana but are now down with all forms of ailments and have no one to care for them. That Jesus, the divine healer, will visit them and bless them with helpers. For this we pray to the Lord. pray for Mrs. Laura Abul Daisy Kamaklo and her family, especially her two sons Kofi and Kwesi, that God may fill the gap that has been left in their hearts and give them the courage to face each day with the memories of their loved mother. For all who have come to mourn with the Tamaklo, a Klo family, that the Lord will bless us all in our efforts 
to offer sympathy and support at this difficult moment. And also let us pray for all departed souls and souls in purgatory that the good Lord himself will have mercy on them. For this we pray to the Lord. May the prayer, prayer of those who are to you benefit, benefit the souls, the souls of, of your servant, O Lord. Free them, free them we pray, free from, from all their sins, sins and make and them, them share in your, your redemption. Through Christ our Lord.
and the divine sacrifice be yours be a be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Father. As, as we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the, for the salvation, salvation of, of your servant Laura, we, we beseech your mercy that, that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving, loving Savior may find, may find him a merciful, a merciful judge who lives, who lives and, and reigns forever, forever and ever. And ever. Amen. we might all escape from dying as one man he chose to die so that in your sight we all might live forever and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And drink this cup, we proclaim your love for all the Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the memorial of death and the resurrection, we offer you. The bread of life, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John Bonaventure, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Laura, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All the deceased people of the Tomaclo Clue family. And all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. Have mercy on Kofi and Kwesi. Have mercy on them, Lord. Have mercy on all of us here gathered, the family of Kosi and the family of Kofi. Have mercy on all of them, their children. Have mercy on uh, all of us gathered here in prayer with them, the uncles, the aunties, everybody. Have mercy on us. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you.
through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever The Savior's command, command formed by, formed by divine. We dare to say, as one family, our Father. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Yes, deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. Grant peace in the heart of Kofi. Grant peace in the heart of Kwesi. Grant peace in the heart of all of us here gathered. Grant peace in, the, in this, our country. Grant peace to all the bereaved family that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Dear brothers and sisters, with a wave, let us show to each other the sign of peace.
let perpetual light shine upon them with your scent forever, for you are merciful. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them with your scent forever, for you are merciful. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. Am I so sure? Please, it is time for communion. And communion is meant for Catholics only, practicing Catholics, who have prepared themselves to receive the body and blood of Christ. So please, if you are not Catholic, kindly sit with us and pray with us. Those who would go for communion, kindly show by hands. Just draw the attention of the ashes so that they can sanitize your hands.
Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Laura may come to it, the internal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Dead. God is good and all the time. That is his nature. Thank you very much. It is now time for our second collection. This second collection will be going to the family to help them, support them in diverse ways coming up with this burial. Please, we are asking that you give out generously. The choir would give us melodious tunes as we come and present our offerings to support the family.
We know that our mother lived a very good life and we are hopeful that we will meet her in heaven. Amen. Oh, your amen is too small. Amen. amen. Great. Thank you very much. So, the money will be presented to Madam Frida Oklu. Madam Frida Oklu will take the money on behalf of the family. Is she here? If she's not, may a member of the family take the money on her behalf. Please, there will be Thanksgiving Mass tomorrow at 9 a.m. And then the burial is private. The burial will be private. So please, after Mass, there is a table outside that you can put all your contributions, your donations at the table. There's another table there where the family has arranged for something for all of us to take home. We would have Holy Child Past Students Association to do a very short ritual, after which we would hear the biography. It would be a rite that they do as singing a song as they do as um, past students, after which we would hear the biography by a family member. Please, all Holy Child past students can come closer to where our mother is laid. All Holy Child past students. Thank you very much. Um, in 1946, our school opened on the Holy Child School Hill. And in 1947, our darling sister joined the school as one of the foundation members of whom we are very proud because they have held up the standard for us to continue. Um, as we traditionally do at this point, we would sing the first verse of our school anthem to usher our sister um, off. In whom we ever live and move and are. Thou art the key to treasures new and old that ends the toil of every day to go. Thank you very much, Holy Child Past Students Association. Please, would have our brother John Kwesi Oklu giving us the biography of our dear mother. Mrs. Laura. Abui Daisy Samoklu Oklu was born to the late Mr. Victor Allen Yao and Mrs. Womina Dolly Pratt from the Pratt family of Sierra Leone in the year 19 January 1927 at Kata. At the tender age, she lived with her grandmother, Madame Grace. Yibo Anyable at Asadama, where she started her basic education at the AME Zion School until the demise of her grandmother in the year 1940. She rejoined her parents at Kata and enrolled at prestigious Roman Catholic Convent School and thence to Holy Child Secondary School, Cape Coast in 1947. After Holy Child Secondary School, 
She was one of the few selected to enroll in nursing at the Central Hospital Cape Coast in 1950 until 1953. In 1954, she extended her field and became a war sister and worked in Guinea until she got transferred to the Volta region. During the time she met and got married to the late husband, Patrick Kobla James Oklu. Nineteen sixty eight brought her to the Ifia Quanta Regional Hospital in Sekendi until nineteen seventy when she relocated when she relocated to Accra to work at the Princess Mary Louise Children's Hospital. She retired from active service in nineteen eighty three. She was blessed with two sons and um, seven grandchildren. Thank you. So John will still give us, he will give us the vote of thanks. Yes. Well, friends, family, Invited guests, Honorable Afla Jifago Mashi, and our uncle, Lieutenant Carita Dudisu, Mama Aunties, Auntie Sibyl, the James Oklu family, the Tamoklu family, would like to say, and our friends who have flown in all over Europe, far and away. We just want to say, Akwena Nyakata. We thank you, and we appreciate what you've done for us today. Today, we've been operating live on two platforms, Facebook and YouTube, so that those who couldn't make it here can also view what has been going on. So until we meet again, may the good Lord continue to direct your steps. Give us grace and love. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Yes, please you can do it better. Thank you very much. Please be reminded that there is a box outside for donations. And also the burial will be private. Only the choir and a few family members will go to the burial site. Thank you very much. Father will take it from there. Thank you. May we kindly be on our feet. Thank you. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our dear mother, sister, to be buried in its human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things, that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God keep her a visible judgment and forgive all her sins. May Christ, the Good Shepherd, lead her safely home to be at peace with God our Father.
saints of God, come to her aid. Come to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive his soul and present her to God. Give her eternal rest, O Lord, and may the your light shine on her forever. Receive her soul and present her to Let us pray. Father, into your hands we commend our sister. We are confident that with you, all who have died in Christ, she will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave her in this life to show your motherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome our sister to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now call on those to carry the casket to come in for the carrying of the body. And all of us, as Father prays, we raise our right hand towards the casket. paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
faithfulness is great.
don't have to stress just to rest upon his and to
Jesus, I pray for those discouraged. I pray for those confused. I pray for those who have no more hope, who are angry, who are frustrated, who are tired, who are enraged, who are asking questions, who are looking for you. Father, I pray just by your power, by your spirit. Woo! you settle their souls father settle our souls before you can do anything outward work on us inward settle settle our souls father to be able to manage what you're going to do settle our souls to be able to be enlarged and stretched and have the capacity for what you're going to do settle settle us father settle us settle the nation hallelujah settle the oh, yeah settle the angry Settle the tired, settle the frustrated. You said, come unto me, all of you who are tired, who are weary, who are tired of fighting, who are tired of yelling, who are tired of being unheard. Come, come to me and I will give you rest. Father, I thank you for your rest. Hallelujah. I thank you for your rest over our culture. Yeah. I thank you for your rest over our generation. Hallelujah. I thank you for your rest over our spirits, over our bodies, over our minds, over our emotions. Father, let the rest, hallelujah, let the rest of the Holy Spirit be released. Let the rest of the Holy Spirit, the rest of the Holy Spirit that allows us to fight and still sleep. Yeah. The rest of the Holy Spirit that allows us to still speak out but still not have anger the rest of the Holy Spirit the rest of the Holy Spirit that allows us to be angry but sin not the rest of the Holy Spirit that doesn't allow what people may do to us how people may hate us to affect what you're doing in us. Woo! With the rest of the Holy Spirit. And Father, we release your power. We release your word. We release your spirit. We release, yeah, yeah, we release, hallelujah. Woo! We release the axe, your axe, the hammer, the sword of the spirit. We release that even to every evil spirit that is, yeah, that is lingering in every space, whether it's a work environment, whether it's a church. Father, right now in this empty room, we release your sword of the spirit. For you said it's not by might, it's not by our power, it's not by our words, but it's by your spirit. So Father, Holy Spirit, do what you need to do in the hearts. Do what you need to do in the minds. By your spirit, move. By your spirit, move. By your spirit, move. Turn the hearts of men. Transform the hearts of men. Father, by your spirit, move. We're not praying empty prayers, but we're standing on your faithfulness, man. Woo! 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 You've carried us. We're standing on your faithfulness. You've carried us through Jim Crow. We're standing on your faithfulness. You've carried us through slavery. We're standing on your faith. You have been faithful to do it before, and we know you're going to do it again. That's what we're standing on. You carried us through the silver world. We're standing on your faithfulness, your consistency, your never changingness. That's that's what we're speaking and praying from. Some of us may not have all the hope we need, may be discouraged, but we thank you that there's an authority <laughs> that is so much stronger than our hopelessness. There's an authority that's so much stronger than our discouragement. 
is the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ who reigns on this earth. Yeah, who reigns on this earth. Father, have your way. We will trust you. We will trust you. We will trust you. We will trust you.